uh, first time maybe in several years that uh, RPI seems to be the favorite going into this weekend, you know, considering where you guys are 0-6, they're 2-2. Two two. How, how do you see that? Is that a good thing? I, I'd rather be on the other end. Um, but this is just a little bit of a role, role reversal. Um, it is what it is, and you know what? We'll find out tomorrow. What, I know that the schedule hasn't been the easiest, but you don't use that as an excuse. But if you had to put your finger on what, if there's one thing that really sticks out to you that your team hasn't done right, in your eyes, what is it? Oh, I just haven't been consistent, you know, for three periods. Um, that we showed some pretty good signs against Northeastern. And then we kind of, we, we had it going into, you know, the first game versus UMass. And then we kind of imploded there a bit. But again, those are going to be learning, learning curve experiences. And that's hopefully we've fixed that kind of going into this weekend. Is RPI, I guess you can't get the juices going for that one. Might as well get out of the room, right? <laughs> yeah. I think I'll, I'll save that speech, but yeah, it is, uh, you know, if you need extra motivation, uh, I don't think the coaches need to do uh, handstands in the locker room to get them going. So, and I'm not even sure our coaching staff could do that. So they're on their own with that. Do you like opening the conference play against them? I know you don't need extra motivation, but still the way to kind of see where your team's at. Yeah, it just kind of, you know, who, who knows? I mean, it, we could be playing Harvard or Dartmouth. It doesn't matter. It's you get twenty-two league games. Uh, just happens to be RPI for the first two, and just kind of the way it's always kind of played out. Because uh, we don't want to lose. You know, we want to have the students here for this series, um, and that's kind of way it's always been set. Is this a better RPI team offensively you've seen in the last few years? You know, based on film, yes. Watched watched them three times. And have proven that yes, they have some more you know explosive scores in there. The freshmen look good, you know, up front and on the back end. So yeah, it's they 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 do have more you know firepower. This might seem like the dumbest question in history, but how, ba how bad does this team need a win? You know, it's haven't even you know even thought about it. I want we want to play the right way. You know, for three periods, kind of tail off your first question, you know, about being consistent. And, you know, that's, to me, it's the hardest thing in, in probably sports is to be consistent. You know, this program has been consistent. And this year it's uh, hasn't started off that way. But a lot of games to go, a lot of practices to go, you know, to work on it. And that's what we're trying to do. Has this team played well enough to have a win? I felt, I felt uh, for the Northeastern games, yes, even for a bit of the Army game. Uh, the other three, no. I don't think we earned it. Um, I thought the Northeastern weekend that we did give ourselves, you know, g you know, gave ourselves a chance, and you know, that's that's where we're at. What about your team's offense? I mean, they really didn't generate much in the way of shots and goals. Over weekend at UMass, uh, it seems like this has been a early season problem with the offense. You know, it's it's funny. If you're not at the games, then you wouldn't know. But being at the games and having the, the luxury of reviewing those games on film, we had more chances against UMass Amherst than we did against Northeastern. So we just didn't put them in the back of the net. And that's just been a work in progress. It's something that we've worked on in practice. So you know, it's going to break. You just don't know when. But these guys just got to keep at it. And number one is you got to hit the net. You know, if you don't, you don't give yourself a chance whatsoever. And a lot of the times you're just back checking. So that's the message. Coach, now that you forget about the first six games because you want to use those as learning experiences, but do you, do you consider this a fresh slate, knowing this is kind of the stuff that counts and will get you to where you want to be? Yeah, it is a fresh slate uh, as far as the ACAC play is concerned, and that's how we're looking at it. We haven't even talked about it much, if at all. We'll talk about it a little bit today during, you know, pre-scout. That's be the first time we even mention the name RPI. Um, 
it's just more about us. Um, but we do want to, you know, we do want to use those six games that we just played previously to learn from. Uh, yeah, no, you're exactly right. Um, finding the first one has been tough, obviously. And, uh, you know, luckily for us, we got another chance this weekend to do that. Um, I don't think I feel much better getting that first one against a team like that that we're playing. So, uh, you know, we're going to work hard and uh, hopefully it works out. Um, you know, for us, obviously, there's a lot of new guys, uh, just, you know, learning systems, process, things like that. Uh, it, it, it is a long process, and uh, uh, obviously, the tough competition just makes it that much more difficult, and uh, not using it as an excuse, obviously, but, uh, uh, that, that, you know, that's, that's, that's where we're at. So, um, you know, as time goes on here, you know, we're getting better every day. Obviously, I think we took a step back in this last weekend, but... Um, we're practicing hard, you know, the mood in the room is good. Um, and I'm still very confident in this group. We can figure this out. Not that you want to forget the first six games, but do you guys kind of give yourselves a fresh start with ECAC play? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, you look at our group last year and how great we did out of conference and how mediocre we did in conference that that's what ended up killing us at the end of the year, you know, and so conference play is just so important and, um, uh, Coach Rick says it's live bullets now. Uh, you know, these are the games that matter the most. And so for us, you know, just like, like, like you said, too, not just forget the six games. You know, we learn from them. But uh, now this is, this, is, this, is, this is it. So Does it help that you're opening up ECAC play against RPI so there's even more kind of reason for you guys to be up for it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, like I said, this is, this is a weekend we circle on our calendars every every year so um it's always fun playing in these games um you know their building's a fun one to play in uh and you're right it's just you know this rivalry weekend against an ecac opponent it, it just you know, feels more like you know this is we're, we're really into it now so we're, we're excited you guys have a really young team what do you tell the guys who haven't been a part of this game about the rivalry uh basically that, that it's a rivalry and it's, it's important. We're playing for a trophy. Um, you know, we're going to remind them of what happened last year and that, uh, we're going to try and make up for that and get that trophy back. Um, so yeah, I mean, otherwise not much else is said, you know, we're practicing normal. You guys just try to treat every, every weekend the same in terms of practice. So, uh, um, on that end, it's been kind of quiet. Um, no, I, I don't think I, I've seen any of that so far. Uh, like I said, it's, it's a lot of learning for us still. We're still in, that, in the learning stage. So, um, I think guys aren't too carried away with trying to, you know, do, you know, be a hero or something like that. Um, that's not really the culture we have here. You know, we're, we, uh, we really emphasize being a good team. Um, nobody looks at themselves better than anyone else. And so, uh, you know, if we just keep working hard and together, that uh, eventually this is going to work work out. Just out of, we asked Darian, but do you guys give yourselves a fresh start without, you know, you don't want to forget six games, but this is the stuff that counts. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in conference, uh, it's so important to league play and everything. So, I mean, like you said, and like Darian said, um, obviously can't forget the past six games. We have to learn from it, grow from it, but same time, you know, everyone starts zero zero right now. So these two games are very important for us. For you guys, I mean, when you look at this RPI team, they're a little more experienced than they've been years past. And what kind of do you see them challenging you guys this weekend? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, when we play them, it's always a tight game. It doesn't matter, you know, what the caliber of the teams are, but it's always tight. It's always a, a fight. It's going to be a battle. And we know that. So. I mean, yeah, they're a good team. You know, we're going to do uh, our process, play the way we do, and we know it's going to be a fight, so it's going to be a close one. We're going to have to battle. Do you like playing home first in the hopes that you can get the first one and just kind of, you know, a little bit of momentum and put them on the ropes to say a little bit? 
A little bit. I mean, I like Friday night home games just because the the tra- you don't have to travel anywhere on Friday, especially like we got class in the morning. So Friday home is nice and um, yeah. So getting that first win at home, especially since it'd be our uh, first one of the year, would definitely probably give us some momentum going into Saturday night and hopefully then bring home the second win. Does the way that last year went leave a bad taste in this team's mouth? Have you guys talked about that at all? Uh, it hasn't really been talked about, but I mean, yeah, it does leave a bad taste how uh, how last year's went, especially the RPI series. You know, um, obviously they won it last year, the series between us. So we're gonna want to get that back this year and do everything we can to not let that happen again. The mood of your room right now. We're up, I would say. I mean, uh, it's business as usual, right? It's uh, another week, another opportunity to get better. I think uh, morale's high. It's, you know, I said it's like you guys have been going over. It's a new beginning here. So uh, this is ECAC play. There's a lot to be excited about. You guys obviously know our opponent. So it's, um, yeah, I would say morale's great right now. Is there a dislike between the two teams? <laughs> and is it safe to say that? It's uh, it's gone back for a very long time. Uh, we can, That's the best way to put it. There's a lot of history there. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, it's anything too, you know, animalistic there right but obviously yeah we we want to beat them just as badly as they want to beat us 45 minutes down the road we want to hold down the fort so um yeah it's it's going to be a good one do you like opening ECAC play against them just because it adds a little juice oh yeah it's always fun always a great way to get it going it's I don't think there's a better way to get involved you know if you can't get up for a game like that check your pulse right so um yeah we're it's couldn't have asked for a better start Oh, it's, that's one of those questions that is so loaded. I, I think that's in terms of details, we just need to be a little bit more dialed in. Um, our process, it's as Darian said, this is a process. We do have a lot of new guys, um, for sure, and we're still padding down those systems. Um, but it's time to take the training wheels off, and I think we're uh, getting towards that point. Uh, obviously, yeah, we took a step back last weekend, but we're trying to get back in the right direction here and sticking to that process, working hard every day in practice, emphasizing those details in practice. It's really going to help us to get right back on the right foot. So, I'm sure you never thought you'd be over six. I mean, it's hockey. It's the game. You know, uh, what, two years ago, if I had sat down here, we were on five then, you know, uh, we, we could sit here and talk about oh, we're 0-6 and, and being down in the dumps about it, or we can look at it a different way. Um, this team is not the type of team that's going to lay down, roll over, get on our back, and, hey, this is it's over. Like, just because we're 0-6, it doesn't matter to us. Um, we're going to keep competing. We're going to keep playing hard. And I know these guys in this room, I know our coaching staff, uh, we'll get it going in the right direction. Um, that's, that's all there is on our mind, just getting it right back on the right track and getting after it. Boss, this is a, I guess – more offensively talented team maybe that we've seen from RPI um, in a few years. What have you seen from their their front line, I guess, specifically that uh, maybe on tape that you'll, you'll be preparing for? Oh, those, they're, they're a good group for sure up front. Uh, they've been young in the years past, I believe, um, but they've always been skilled, very skilled, and now they have that little bit more chemistry, playing with each other for a little bit longer. Um, but we'll be looking to diffuse that uh, as best we can as a, as a total team through our systems, you know, just small little details that we'll think we'll be able to get a little edge on them. Um, but yeah, diffusing that forward end is going to be, it's going to be important for the game, making sure that they're uh, respecting the defensive end of the puck as well. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll uh, keep watching in on them uh, in terms of tape and keep on looking over things to make sure that we're giving ourselves the best edge with that group.